And now, Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. We're off to a cloudy start across Idaho Falls this morning, getting a live look at the Highway 20 at intersection of I-15 webcam. We could see widespread clouds in the sky. It looks like the roads are a little wet out there, and that's because Idaho Falls did see some showers pass through for the overnight, maybe some sprinkles lingering across Bonneville County to start off the morning. But as we move throughout the morning, those showers will quickly move out of your area, and we'll see some sunshine start to peek through those clouds in a couple of hours. Temperatures right now across the Snake River Plain, mainly in the 40s out there, so right around the average to start off the day. It's currently 45 degrees in Blackfoot, 47 degrees in Pocatello, 46 in Idaho Falls across the highlands, western Wyoming, seeing temperatures in the 30s and the 40s, and for the central mountains, we're in the 30s and 40s as well. Area of low pressure out to our west will keep all the moisture chances at least across the western half of Idaho, and it could creep into the central mountains later on today. We do have an area of high pressure located to our northeast, which will actually keep at least the Snake River Plain dry for today, and we'll see more sunshine in the sky today than we saw yesterday. But there is still a slight chance that the highlands and western Wyoming could see some showers or even some thunderstorms develop for their area later on today. For the Snake River Plain, temperatures on the warmer side compared to yesterday. Look at that. All areas across the Snake River Plain today will say hello to the 70s. It'll be 73 degrees today in Idaho Falls, 72 degrees in Rexburg, Pocatello, the hot spot today at 75 degrees. For the Central Mountains, again, slight chance your area see some showers and thunderstorms develop later on this afternoon at high temperatures, mainly in the 60s, few locations seeing those 70s. It'll be 73 degrees today in Salmon, 74 in Chalice, 68 today in Lodore, and across the highlands in western Wyoming. Also expect very isolated showers and storms possible later on today with high temperatures, mainly in the 60s. We could even see some isolated rain showers develop later on this evening into the first half of the overnight for the Snake River Plain, even across the Central Mountains and the Highlands and Western Wyoming areas as well. Low temperatures, very similar to what they were last night, will be in the 40s for the Snake River Plain. It'll be 43 degrees tonight in Blackfoot, 46 tonight in Pocatello and American Falls, and for the most part across the Highlands and Western Wyoming, temperatures remain above freezing for tonight. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast leaves us with a chance for showers and thunderstorms Friday through Sunday, but look at that. Those temperatures rise into those upper 70s for Monday, and then for Tuesday, we'll say hello to the 80s across Pocatello. Idaho Falls, your seven-day forecast, mainly sunny for today. Chance of showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow through Sunday as well, with temperatures in the 70s for the weekend. Across the Teton area, there's a chance for showers and thunderstorms for the next seven days out there with temperatures warming into the 60s for the most part. We don't see the 70s for your area until about Wednesday. For the Central Mountains, Salmon Chalice and Mackey, chance of showers and thunderstorms through Monday with temperatures warming into the 80s by next week.